Bonjour, bonjour, this is Andrew from Ecom Experts, and in this channel, we cover everything that's Shopify, so make sure to subscribe. Today is a special day because there is a video. This is going to be an app that provides a solution to what pretty much every merchant has had at some point with their store. That's right, we're finally covering chargeback. This is one of those apps where you're like, do I really need this? Why did I install this in the first place? And why am I still subscribed to this? until this app actually saves you from a big fat chargeback. Today is the day that we take chargeback seriously and we look at Fraud Judge, which is an app that is going to help us with that. But not only with that, also if you are in the CBD market, this app is definitely for you. Or actually any market where you're not allowed to sell in certain states, but you are in certain other states. Keep watching. Okay, so if you are looking to reduce the risk of fraudulent purchases that might end up in chargeback, or if you simply want to verify the age, the address, or something else of your customer, then this video is for you. In this video, we actually partnered with Fraud Judge to show you each of their functionalities and how you can use it to really benefit you. Okay, so let's start with the most common use of this app, which is actually using it for, you guessed it, chargebacks. So you might be thinking, what is a chargeback? and why should I care of it? And for those people thinking that, one, you're damn lucky you never had a chargeback before, and two, let me briefly recap what a chargeback is, although we made a couple of videos about it. Okay, let's put a timer on. I'm explaining chargebacks in 10 seconds. Basically, if someone pays with a credit card and they don't get to order or the order is broken or misrepresented it, or someone stole their credit card and makes an order for them so they see something on their accounts that they don't recognize, every user of every credit card, including yourself, can just be like, I don't know what this is, or this is a fraudulent order, or this order has never arrived, or they screwed me, I don't wanna pay for this. When this happens, this is gonna take more than 10 seconds. But when this happens and you click, hey, I don't recognize this order as a you know credit card user, then Visa, MasterCard, American Express says, okay, turns around to the merchant, so the Shopify merchant, and says, okay, prove to me that it is indeed Andrew Duro that bought this product from you and that you have delivered it. Then you basically, as a merchant, have to go out of your way to prove that you did everything according to the terms and conditions that you agreed with, with the credit card buyer or with the buyer, including making sure that the credit card is actually not a stolen credit card, but is actually the buyer itself. And you basically have to prove that it's the correct person I sold this to and I actually sold a working product. Now this is where it gets tough because typically credit card companies do tend to side on the side of their clients, which are the credit card users and not on the side of the merchants. And so Shopify gives you one chance to respond in documentation, so you're not talking on anyone on the phone or anything, on why you should be allowed to keep the money that you charge that customer. In which you're probably gonna say, well, I delivered the product as per the terms and conditions and yada, yada, yada. Now, a little piece of advice that we covered in our previous video is that typically when people respond to chargebacks, they get really emotional. And you really shouldn't. You should stay with the pure facts that you agreed upon with the client prior to the purchase. Now, of course, Terms and conditions isn't the entire solution because maybe the credit card was indeed stolen and maybe you did sell or ship something to the wrong person. And in that case, you want an app like Fraud Judge. Okay, so first let's look at how they can help you reduce the fraud. With this app, you get alerts about potential fraudulent orders. So yes, Shopify does do a basic check to make sure that the billing address and the shipping address is the same and you might have gotten those notifications before, but Fraud Judge goes in a little extra step and they actually actually look at the orders itself. For example, is there a high quantity of something that got ordered? Is there just something suspicious with the order itself? And Shopify does not do that. Of course, this is particularly useful if you have hundreds of thousands of orders a day and you don't have the time to go through each and every one of them. Okay, so once you receive an alert, what then? Well, then you have a couple of options. Obviously, you can cancel it right away, and that's the end of that. But in case you don't want to miss out on that sweet, sweet big order, because newsflash, scams are usually very big orders, and you're like, eh, I could use that extra $5,000 order, 
So in case you don't want to miss upon that, the Fraud Judge app allows you to do requests for additional information, like a government issued ID, and then you can decide if you want to proceed with the order, yes or no. So yeah, it really is as simple as that. But you might be wondering at this point, okay, how is that going to help me with my chargeback? Well, if you requested and received the ID of the customer, and you can easily prove that the order was made by the account owner and that it is not a result of fraud, then that's going to help help you greatly when American Express or Visa reviews your file and says, no, 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 the store owner did their due diligence. It is correct. And this type of documentation, and I can't stress this enough, is key to winning these chargebacks. Let me just go over it and show you how it's set up. So you can obviously find the app in the Shopify app store. You simply search for fraud judge, and then you click on install. And basically you do like you would do with any other app. It doesn't require any code modification and it doesn't affect your store speed since it just works on the back end. So that's good to know. Okay, so once you give it the necessary permission, you will end up with the plan picker and they will ask you to pick a plan. We will speak about that a little bit later in the video, but for now we'll go with the lowest plan. Then we arrive on the dashboard and frankly, it's pretty straightforward. In the rules section right here, you will find eight preset rules. User agent validation, billing and shipping country mismatch, product count larger than usual, single unit quantity per order is larger than usual, purchase value is larger than, order information found on a deny list, customer risk is medium, customer risk is high. A deny list? We have a deny list now? Oh yes we do. Okay, on the right side, you can enable or disable each of these rules. Next to it, you can choose from one of the three actions you want to take in order to confirm the identity of the user. So alerts can range from, you know, getting a warning from the app, automatically requesting additional information so you don't have to manually do it, or just straight up denying the order. That's out of personal experience here. In case you want to avoid fraud, I would always recommend requesting both the ID and a selfie. That way your case is really waterproof and you will see typically if it's a scammer, as soon as you start requesting more information, scammers are like, ugh, this is way too hard and they just straight up don't reply. Okay, so when you hear the name fraud judge, it's pretty easy and obvious what the purpose of the app is, right? But there is a little bit more to it because it also helps you verify the customer ID like we just seen, but also the address and here's the thing, also the age of the customers. Now I'm looking at you liquor stores, CBD stores, and all of those stores that are selling things that are age related. Because with Fraud Judge, you can automatically ask your customers for an identification document, a selfie or a utility bill for additional evaluation before releasing the goods that might end up being orders from people you shouldn't be buying or that you shouldn't be selling to more, more specifically you shouldn't be buying. Yeah, that would work. You get my point. So again, alcohol, vaping products, knives, sharp gardening tools, corrosive materials, or basically anything that the government's like, eh, watch out who you sell this to. Well, this app can actually really, really help you with it. Because at the end of the day, let's face it, having the simple pop-up saying, are you 18 and above? Or yes, I know America, are you 21 and above? I'm sorry. Just doesn't help. If you think about it, the concept of the pop-up is actually completely absurd. Like who like, who's like, oh, oh no, I cannot enter this site. Ooh, <laughs> this is a trick question. They got me here. You just refresh and you start your trick question yet again. So it's, the pop-up really isn't doing anything. But we all know that in many places in the world, the selling to a minor is a very, very bad thing to do. But we all know that in most places in the world, selling things that aren't allowed to the people that aren't allowed, example, alcohol to minors, can get you in a really bad problem. So you get it. With Fraud Judge, you can request their ID and you can check their age. Pretty cool. But how do you do this? Well, so we're back in the app dashboard. Under the rules section, there is three different action options, warning, verify, and deny. So we're gonna choose a verify, select what you will ask as a verification. And if a rule value is triggered and you have chosen the verify action, then an email will be sent automatically. Okay, let's move on to the next very useful feature, I believe, of this app, which is requesting a utility bill. Because if something seems wrong with the delivery app, address or just the, the entire order in general, you can simply request proof of the address. 
Normally, Fraud Judge asks for any type of utility bill scan that contains the delivery address and the buyer's name that you can check. And hell, maybe there are some industries out there that just automatically need to do an identification verification. And you're kind of not really doing it right now. This is your option. So think about it. Like, Utility bills have been used as proof of residences for companies for the longest time because they're easily accessible only to the property owner and provide a useful history of payment behavior. Okay, Andrew, but you mentioned something like the allow or deny list, and I would be really curious to hear more about that. Well, yes, because another interesting feature is indeed the allow or deny list. So Fraud Judge allows you to automatically allow or deny people based on certain criteria. And here it gets. Criteria can be the customer name, obviously, the email, the IP address, or the zip code. And this surpasses fraud. I mean, we all had customers that are just such a pain to deal with that we prefer not to work with them anymore. And so you just put them on the deny list and they're never gonna order your stuff anymore. And that way you know you're not gonna get screwed over anymore. How beautiful is that? And then the allow list is particularly useful in case you have repetitive orders from the client that appeared risky, but you already sold to them and you know they're legit. So in that case, you just add them to their allow list. Basically, if you have a client that's 22 years old and you want they want to buy beer again, um, you can just put them on the allow list because you don't want them to verify your age over and over and over again. So in order to do that, you just go to add a new button on this nice little pop-up that will appear. And here you choose if you want to distinguish them by their name, IP, address, or again, a zip code. Pretty straightforward. But I do want to touch on a little something about the deny list. So back to the deny list. Let's say you are selling CBD products, which you can legally sell in most states. And the accent here lies on the word most not all states. And so that's where this app can really come in. Because with the deny feature, you can block certain zip codes entirely, where you just can't deliver the product. And that's where this app becomes really useful. So let's say I'm not allowed to sell in this long list of zip codes, you just add the, those zip codes to the deny list. But it gets even a little bit better. Let's say you can't deliver for any reason in that particular zip code because you're doing manually deliver and you're afraid of that area, then just block the zip code. Done deal. And then on the delivery side, let's say you just deliver in a very small area, you can just do one allow list with particular zip codes and that solves your issues as well. Okay, but all the business women and men out there might be wondering, Andrew, how much is this going to cost me? Because at the end of the day, the dineros matter. And actually at the time of this recording, you can try Fraud Judge for free for the first 90 days to see if it's fit and you kind of like. After that trial period, the price will really depend on the number of orders you get per month. If you have up to 100 order scans against the rules per month, you should go with the starter plan. This plan will cost you $15 per month. And if you exceed the 100 limit, you'll be paying an extra extra three cents per order scan and an extra 50 cents per data verification request. If you make the app scan up to 500 orders a month, then you will go with the plus plan, which will cost you $49 per month. And if you exceed that 500 limit, it's two cents per additional scan and $3 per data verification request. And of course, if you do even more than that, you can go to the premium plan, which is $99 per month, basically a hundred bucks a month where you can scan up to 2000 orders. And after that, you'll be paying one cent per scan and a total of 15 cents per data verification. So if you ever had a very bad chargeback experience that costs you a lot of money, or if you are in any industry where you should be verifying who you are selling to, the know your customer type of thing, then I really believe this app is a very good deal for you and you should definitely look into it, especially with the free trial. Anyway, I hope this walkthrough was useful for you. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in another video.